In this video I'm going to be sharing one of my chicken wings recipe that a lot of you have been asking for, so let's get started. Wash and clean your chicken wings and in a Ziploc bag you're going to prepare your marinade. I'll leave the exact measurements in the description box, but to this I'm adding salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika powder, chili powder, I'm going to add some of this Frank's red hot sauce, as much or as little as you like. Soy sauce. Squeeze in the juice of half a lime and mix this really well before you add the chicken wings and then marinate them in the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight. When you're ready to cook your chicken wings, then preheat your air fryer to 390 degrees for 20 minutes. Before you start to cook them, make sure to take them out of the fridge at least 30 minutes before. This will help bring them up to room temperature and will help cook them faster and evenly. Once my air fryer is preheated, I'm going to spray some canola oil first to the basket and then add the chicken wings skin side down. And since I'm cooking the full drumettes and wings, I can fit eight into my four quarter Ninja five in one indoor grill air fry basket. And whatever you do, don't throw away any remaining marinade that you have left in the Ziploc bag. We're going to use it again later on at the halfway mark. Okay, partway through at the halfway mark, you can turn them over and then use the rest of the marinade to coat the chicken wings again. You may want to check on your chicken wings a few minutes before. I could hear them sizzling quite a bit in there, so I checked on them with five minutes left because I don't want mine to dry out. So it's always a good idea to just keep an eye on them towards the end. And these look so good and I didn't want to cook them any further because I don't want them to dry out, like I said. But if you want them to get a little darker or if you want them to be more crispy, you can go ahead and cook them a few minutes longer. But trust me, I just find that if you cook them any longer, they'll end up drying out on the inside. So I'm going to stop here at the 15 mark and that's perfect for how I like them. On a side note, if you do want to make the skin crispy, you can always sprinkle on some baking powder. That's a technique I've used on a few of my chicken recipes. I'll leave links to those videos if you want to watch them. To give it a final touch, I'm going to add some Nando's Peri Peri sauce in the lemon and garlic herb flavor. I'm just going to brush this onto the chicken wings and this is what's going to give it the kick. The lemon and garlic flavor is just so delicious and goes really well with the Frank's hot sauce and also that chili powder that's in there. So you have a little bit of lime flavor, a little bit of chili flavor. And it's so good. And you can just see just how juicy they are. If I break them open and show you the inside, just how juicy they are. For me, 15 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes, no more, I, just depending on the size of the wings and they look so good and so delicious absolutely perfect all right guys i hope you enjoyed watching this easy chicken wings recipe if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and i hope to catch you in my next videos